All right, I have a mail call from two of my favorite online retailers. Uh, but first, let's start with what's in my pocket. Today I'm carrying my um, Collector Knives um, 25 Barlow SFO. This one is in the Burlap Micarta. <clears throat> Very nice knife. Um, Non-polished bolsters. Just great overall little fifth pocket knife. Great fit and finish. Um, really like this knife. So let's get to the packages. The first package here, this box I've already taken the label off of, is from Grand Prairie Knives, GP Knives. And uh, just always great customer service, great place to order from. I uh, should have chosen a different shipping option. I actually ordered this last week. It, I ordered it maybe 10 o'clock at night and it had already shipped by the following morning. Um, now because it came first class mail, it took about a week to get here, but you know, I, I've, I've had some issues with the mail this week and I'll talk about that a little bit with this package when I get ready to open that up. What I ordered was, let's see. What I ordered was um, this little item here. And you guys have to bear with me. I, I, the past couple of nights after the Alabama championship game and all that stuff, and just with work, I, I haven't slept a lot in the past couple of nights, so I'm a little bit brain dead. So excuse me if I'm stumbling over things a little bit. But if you remember, I bought a Benchmade bug out, another Benchmade bug out, and I had these scales um, that I purchased that I wanted to put on. Well, in the process, I managed to screw up and strip this screw right here, which I had to slot um, and use a flathead to remove. Now, you'll notice there is in the third box here, I still have not received my hardware from Benchmade. I did place the order with them, I don't know, it was, it's been about a week, it was the same day I ordered this, but um, Benchmade said they sent it out, I'll wait, I'm sure it came first class mail, probably just in a regular envelope, um, but it, I've never had a set of Weha bits or Weha driver um, body itself. So after stripping this screw, I told myself that I was going to buy a Weha bit set and I was going to start taking my time when I disassemble knives. So I picked up this Boker um, Weha little torch set. And I don't really remember the name of the torch set, but you can see here that it is Weha branded. They have all the bits here in the handle of the knife. And, well, let me show you this. They have all the bits here in the handle of the knife, and you can see the different sizes. It goes T4, T5, T6, T7, T8, and T10. So they're all right here, nice and tidy. You don't have to worry about losing them with one that stays in the... Uh, the actual usable end of the knife. And the my understanding is the idea of this design is so you can really get some good torque on whatever it is you're trying to tighten or loosen. Um, so I'm looking forward to using this. I may pick up a second one because sometimes you'll have a knife where there are uh, Torx bits on either side of the, the knife and you need both of them to uh, loose, loosen or tighten the knife. So. Really good tool. This ran me about $20. Uh, expensive, but if you have a knife that you've ever had to fight with and then you end up stripping the screw out, you know, um, A, take your time, heat it up, however you heat it up, hair dryer, um, soldering iron. Some people say they dunk their knives in boiling water, however you heat it up, and a good set of bits. So I've taken care of the good set of bits. Now I just need to work on taking my time and heating up those screws. The next package is from Collector Knives, and this package here uh, actually shipped on December 29th, or no, 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 I paid for it on December 29th, and it shipped shortly after the start of the new year. Um, I don't know what happened. The package traveled all around Atlanta. It went to Georgia, then bounced back to Alabama, and well, it came through Alabama, went to Georgia, bounced back into Alabama and traveled all around Alabama before it got back over to me. So I don't know exactly what was going on, but this is one that is definitely worth the wait. This is the 78 and natural linen canvas 
This is Mike Latham's, which you should be able to see here. Special factory order, collector knives, Mike Latham. Um, and if you didn't know, anytime somebody has a special factory order, their information is listed at the bottom of the tube. So that's a good way to tell if you have a special factory order knife or not, if you have the tube. So this is yet another one of the 78s that have come out. And this is Mike Latham's special factory order, which I was lucky enough to get in on. And we'll take a look at it. There you go. There you can see it. Very nice natural linen. Very, what I noticed in the pictures that everybody posted is these bolsters are super polished. Just very, very polished. They have, um, they're lined. Let's check the centering on the blade. Uh, it might be a little off to this side, but nothing too terrible. Nothing too terrible. And very, very, very strong walk and talk, which I like. So just an excellent knife. You can see here it has the satin finish with no nail nick. Um, that's the only thing if I, if I was going to nitpick. I'm a fan of the satin finish. I'm a fan of my Carta. Um, not necessarily a fan of the polished bolsters or whatever, but um, I, I prefer a nail nick rather than a long pull. So uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is he went with the Federal Shield on this knife. So just a... Just an excellent knife, and you can listen to that walk and talk. Okay, <clears throat> so I hope you can hear how strong that pull is. Just a very, very, very nice walk and talk. So um, that's it. Those are my two packages. I'm still waiting on my screws. I have a couple more knives that are coming in. Um, one more 78, and then I picked up another knife that... Um, I think everybody will be kind of surprised that I picked up. It's not something that I would usually get, but um, just something interesting. Uh, I'm just really trying out a bunch of different knives right now. I know that in the last video I made about the uh, the Delica, um, the Warrencliffe Delica, I got some questions in the comments about why I, why I buy the knife, why don't I like the Warrencliffe, this, that, and the other. Um, really, guys, if I tell you guys I don't like something or if I tell anyone I don't like something, I like to have a reason, an actual reason why I don't like it. Not I don't like it and I've never actually used it for any any length of time. You know, a lot of times I'm finding talking to people, you'll hear them say, oh, I don't like this or oh, I don't like that. And when you ask them, well, have you handled it? No. Or if they have handled it, you know, it's been in the store for two or three minutes and as soon as they pick it up, they put it down. Um, and I know it's difficult. I know everybody can't put their hands on every single knife and they can't own it for a week, two weeks, three weeks to try it out. Um, but what I really suggest, guys, the knife world is a small community. I really suggest getting involved. I really suggest staying active, finding some good knife buddies and swap knives around. I mean, I, I've got a few buddies that I do that with. Just if they have something you're interested in, try it out because I've been surprised a lot of times. Things that I knew, I told myself I was dead set against. Once I try it out for a while, I find out that if I don't like it, if I don't end up liking it by the end, I don't hate it. So it's worth a try. Um, I'll do a separate video on this knife. I do have an update about the whole Rogue Blade Works situation, but I'll leave that for another dedicated video because I want to make sure I get the full story out there, clear and accurate. Um, but that's about it for now. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching, and remember, a lazy man carries a dull knife.